going on guys so today i'm going to be talking about how to add wi-fi to your car in my case i chose to go with the mobile hotspot as you can see the pocket wi-fi and i have it mounted down there i'll go into detail in a minute as to why i chose to go with the pocket wi-fi but before i do so i want to talk a little bit about why you may want to have a full-time dedicated mobile hotspot inside of your car now, in my case, I have the Blackview dash cam mounted in my car with front and rear cameras. And this camera, I did a full review on it so you can check it out. But just to let you guys know, it uses Wi-Fi and it allows me to basically see what the camera sees from anywhere in the world as long as there's a Wi-Fi connection in range. So I had a few options. Um, my car, unfortunately, is not parked close enough to a Wi-Fi connection at my apartment. So basically I had to come up with a solution for that. Nowadays, a lot of phones have mobile hotspots and so it's not a, a huge deal, you know, so if you have an extra phone that you're willing to leave inside of your car with the hotspot connected, then that would be an option. But in my case, I didn't want to leave my Samsung Galaxy S8 inside of my car full time just to use it as a hotspot. So going with the mobile hotspot made sense in my case. So other reasons you may want to have a mobile hotspot dedicated to stay inside of your car is if you have a tablet or anything like that, if you have kids, you say you have two kids in the back of your car, your vehicle, and both of them have iPads, then basically they'll be able to go ahead and connect to the dedicated hotspot and you don't have to worry about them having to use the hotspot built into your phone and run your data up. It's easier to be able to manage a mobile hotspot. Now, this device I did get through Sprint and it does have its own plan basically. So you can check Sprint out, see how much it costs, see which plan you wanna go with or you know whatever the case may be determined on your usage. But it's really a simple way to add Wi-Fi to your car. Now, of course it's gonna cost, you're gonna to have to pay for the plan, but they're really not that expensive. Um, one thing I like about the pocket Wi-Fi is that it does have an internal battery. So it's, it's only at 1%, but once it reaches full capacity and you don't have to have it plugged in, it, it, you can use any USB plug to actually charge this device. But once you do so and the internal battery is charged, then you can remove it, take it with you anywhere that you go. So as you can see, the Velcro tape allows me to make this uh, an easy device to take out. So if you're concerned about security, then you know, you can, it's not hardwired in or anything. It's not plugged in at all. It's removed from the Velcro, but I do get the warning. The battery is 2%. Please connect to a charger. So I'm gonna go ahead and reattach it, plug it in just for the sake of this video so that I don't lose complete power on it. All right, so now I have it plugged back in and as you can see, it's charging again. Um, it is a touchscreen device on the pocket Wi-Fi, so you can turn mobile on or off. You have notifications right there, which is actually uh, expired at this point, but essentially it, it, it gives you flood warnings, different things like that. Um, these are actually old, but tornado warnings it picks up. So it has more than just Wi-Fi capabilities. You can also track your data usage from here, the billing cycle, the current session. You do have the capability to use 5.0 gigahertz. I have it turned off just because the Blackview doesn't recommend using five gigahertz Wi-Fi connections. And in your settings menu, you have different options you can do to uh, adjust the display, the network, emergency alerts. You can put it in sleep mode, reset it. It does have a lock screen pin. Uh, so that if somebody were to break in your car, if you left it in there, um, they would need to know the pin to be able to access it. System updates, you can change the language, web UI, on or off. So the variety of options that the Pocket Wi-Fi has is why I chose to go with it specifically. There are cheaper options out there, like I said, that you can just plug in with a USB. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at how I have this connected. So the PowerMagic Pro is also something that I talked about in the Blackview dash cam video. Um, essentially what this device does is just ensure that your battery doesn't get drained. It monitors voltage or you can set it to stay powered for a set amount of time. So it kind of acts um, in between whatever device you're powering and the battery. 
And that's important to note because it does tie into how I actually have my mobile hotspot connected. Okay, so basically the way that I have this running is you see the USB cable plugged into the device here. I have it running around coming out here. And I actually used a cord that you can pick one of these up from pretty much any electronic store, but it's basically a USB to 12 volt adapter. I plugged it in there and then that's going to allow me to tap into the power magic pro so i went ahead and unplugged it just so you can get a better idea but this is part of the power magic pro and essentially the black view dash cam is meant to plug directly into there and that's how it feeds its power so basically what i needed to do was figure out a way to split it okay so using the splitter here as you can see i have the camera plugged into one of the outlets and the other one is where i plug the pocket Wi-Fi into. So let's just go ahead and plug that back in here. All right, so basically we have both of them plugged into the outlet and then we just take this and then we're gonna plug that back into the PowerMagic Pro. All right, so once that's connected, You can see that this started charging up and you'll probably hear my camera start activating momentarily. But you can see the lights are on already. Black view for your safe driving. Starting normal recording. All right, so now let me go ahead and tuck all these wires away and we'll wrap this video up. All right, so we have all that straightened back up and we have the pocket Wi-Fi connected again. And as you can see, it is charging with the car off. Uh, the Power Magic Pro right now is monitoring the battery voltage to make sure that the battery is not going to get drained. And my dash cam is still on. All of this happening with the power to the car completely off, as you can see. So I don't have to worry about my battery being drained. I have the pocket Wi-Fi here to ensure full-time Wi-Fi capability inside of my car. And I have the Blackview dash cam, that's the front camera. The rear camera is right up there. And so if you're running this type of setup with this dash cam, then you may want to go with uh, connection the way that I did it. Now I do have to give credit to my friend Terrence for helping me figure out the best way to make this happen using the Power Magic Pro because with the pocket Wi-Fi although it does have an internal battery it doesn't last forever now if you want one of these and you're not particular about um, you know you don't have the Blackview dash cam and you don't really have a need to keep it connected full time then you can simply use the USB cable or get one of those little adapters like I showed you to make the uh, 12 volt outlet USB capable so anyways hopefully this helps you guys out if you do have a dash cam or any other device or just were interested in a mobile hotspot and the benefits as to why you may want to go with one so thanks for watching thank you for your support and see you next time